Hey, welcome back to Host Fight. My name's Alex, and today we're going to have a look at the USG versus the UXG. So the USG was announced about 10 years ago now. Uh, it's been out for a very long time, and it's getting quite long in the tooth. The UXG Pro was announced back in 2020 on the EA store, and only went on sale last year, I believe. Um, so both are actually on sale still on the uh, the Ubiquity store in the US and the UK and other other areas. Uh, so the UXG Pro is from 499 and then the USG is actually listed on here still. Uh, if you go to small scale and then USG, it's actually sold out. Um, it looks like they have kind of revamped it maybe. They've got a new a new logo that we pointed out in the um, uh, the overview for the new website, which is a bit odd. Um, so both are still on sale. This, one, this one's 139 and this one is 499 Based on some of the wording, it is expected that Ubiquiti will announce a UXG at some stage, so a smaller UXG Pro. Um, but that remains to be seen so far. So we'll look, we're going to look at the main details and the main differences between the two devices and uh, which which one you should pick up. Um, so we've got a guide on our on our blog, hostify.com forward slash blog. Link is in the top right hand corner and down below. It just goes over the details of the older USG Pro 4 and the USG as well as the new UXG Pro. Um, so as I mentioned, the UXG Pro was announced in 2020. Been on the beta store for around two years, and it came in stock uh, last year, so it's announced GA. Uh, the UXG Pro is based on the UDM Pro and the UDM SE, um, so it, and it's also the only modern gateway that Ubiquiti makes that Hostify supports on our Unify controllers. Given that the UXG Pro doesn't run any software, doesn't run the controller, it's got twice the le twice as less RAM as the UM UDM Pro. So it's got four gigabytes of RAM in the UDM Pro and two gigabytes of RAM in the UXG Pro. Uh, however, that's where everything is pretty much the same. We've got four interfaces we've got two rj45 ports two sfp ports as well so they're sfp plus ports uh they can do 10 gig and you can remap these we've got a guide on our support center again link is up there and down there on how to remap those ports because you can you can just use sfp if you want to so you can have fiber out to your isp and fiber out to your, your land devices which is quite cool uh usg pro 4 uh it's got uh six interfaces in total um but only one of them can be used at one time. So if you've got uh, WAN 1, WAN 1 is RJ45, it's also map to SFP 1, and you can't use both at the same time. It's either one or the other, which is a bit of a limitation. Um, current, current versions of Unify still support USG Pro 4. And then you've got the older USG 3, which is probably one of the most popular routing devices they've ever made um, in terms of how many people are discussing it still. It's got a dual core 500 megahertz processor, uh, when it was initially sold, it had a VoIP port here, which is now WAN2 slash LAN2. Uh, shortly after being launched back in 2013 or 2014, the, the support for the built-in PVX was actually discontinued, and this was free switch based. Uh, so it now supports secondary WAN port or LAN2, so you can have failover, you can have WAN1 or WAN2 running at the same time, it would just fail over to WAN2. Um, but in terms of what Hostify recommends, we recommend the UXG Pro. Uh, in current versions of software, there's a lot of new features. You've got WireGuard VPN, L2TP VPNs, teleport, policy routing, ad blocking. It does like auto IPsec site to site VPNs, but there is some murmurings that that's coming soon, which is quite, which would be quite interesting. It's also got load balancing, which you can you can split your WANs uh, 90 10 or whatever percentage you want between the two. And we've got extensive guides on our support center of how to add the UXG Pro to hostify controllers, all the different configurations you can do with it. So check that out. Um, on our website support.hostify.com you can learn a lot more about the UXG Pro so in conclusion we recommend the UXG Pro I wouldn't recommend picking up the USG Pro 4 or the USG um, in, in 2023 uh, it's likely understood that those will be discontinued at some stage even if they are listing the USG on the Ubiquiti store I think it's just a placeholder until they come up with a UXG smaller device but let us know what you think in the comments down below if you've enjoyed this video hit subscribe and that like button and we'll see you again in the next video